Hey, it's me Shimon. What you're about to listen is a little segment from the latest episode of yet another tech podcast. If you want to listen to the whole thing, uh check out the links in the description below and hey, enjoy. It's it's fun. From what I know, it's like by the time Pixel 2 was launched, Pixel 3 plans were already set in motion, so the HTC team didn't have any say into that design. So they're working on Pixel 4, so the whole design process takes time. So they skipped the 3. So they're working on the four ever since they got acquired. At least that's what I know. <laughs> yeah, based off of who I've talked with, uh, former HTC employees and some people that are still at HTC. For those who don't know, uh, the team that was purchased from HTC, the team that was purchased by Google, actually works within the HTC headquarters. they they have their own designated area within the building they haven't moved uh they share the same cafeteria as HTC employees uh the difference is the Google employees now get free lunch at the cafeteria and the HTC employees have to pay for their own lunch but i must say like uh the tour we had at the HTC HQ the mm-hmm. design team is amazing and their office it was like breathtaking like seeing all the prototypes and all of the color variants colorways it was amazing that they could launch something which is so good looking oh yeah yeah i mean it, we've all known that acc was ahead of the design game for years um they've kind of been lagging the last couple years um i mean they they're the ones who introduced the world to metal bodied phones before even apple did it and then apple copied it and everyone else was like oh everyone's copying apple we're like no wait a second hcc did it first um but i mean they've they've been ahead of the game for years when it comes to design when especially when when everyone's making phones out of plastic because they had their soft touch polycarbonate finishes that which were amazing back then as well um but you know we don't know what's happening to HCC it's kind of sad to see them kind of fall by the wayside these last couple of years and who knows what's going to happen later this year if i recall correctly there was a report uh which mentioned there won't be any flagship from HCC in 2019 they'll just increase the life expectancy of U12 plus so that's like a sweet way of saying <laughs> they have no flagship for 2019 yeah um <laughs> There's there's some things I can say about that and some things I can't. Uh speaking to some people um that know a little bit too much about the topic, but what I can say is essentially we're we're not going to see the usual upgrade cycle that we get from most devices. Uh typically HTC releases their smartphones in Q2 of the year and we're not going to see a direct replacement for the HTC U12 Plus that was introduced last year um from the sounds of it we are going to be getting a flagship device sometime this year it's going to be a little bit different maybe i don't know it's i i still have an article i need to write about it to to share some more information uh so i don't want to give too much away but acc is going to try to leverage uh other parts of their brand uh going forward and try to give people something a little bit different than what they've been doing in the last couple of years will it be successful uh that's that's up for debate <laughs>